Wherever the eagle has landed, corruption, greed, control, and lies have followed. The teachings of the serpent have been taken by the eagle and hidden away. The only way to find the teachings of the serpent has been to join secret societies, which upon joining you have no idea about what you are getting into. But you are told about all the great people who have belonged there before you. So you think it must be good and join and give them money for their cause without even knowing what their cause is. And you sign blood oaths so frightening and scary that you will never break them. You learn a little as you keep paying and then you sign another blood oath and learn some more and are misled some more and another and learn a bit more and are misled some more if you ever find the full truth and don't agree with it there's nothing you can do because you have sworn all those oaths and are too scared of the consequences plus you have invested so much time and money into this order. You have made so many friends here and been given opportunities you would have struggled to get alone. But you have sold out to corruption. Some of you will have been having dreams and visions of serpents, reptiles, dragons and were scared by this. For so long we have been taught that the serpent is a symbol of evil. The Bible tells us it will tempt us away from good and is forbidden. You no longer need to be afraid of the snake. Instead welcome it into your life and confront your fears. Because when you do, you will realize that the serpent is the pathway to enlightenment to knowledge and wisdom. Some of the orders who hide in the shadows have been passing the truth down to the children of the Grail, the serpent children, the Theolalites, whose love and devotion to bringing harmony back has kept them working secretly to protect the truth. Although many of us have been killed demonized, vilified for sharing the truth with others, we continue on as it is important for the safety and future of all of Mother Earth's animals and creatures. The snake has been suppressed through fear and by those in the know, through greed. Anyone who demonizes the snake is doing so to stop you finding enlightenment, wisdom and knowledge. You can see the suppression of the snake or the dragon all around you. The eagle steps on the snake and kills it. The knight holds down the dragon and kills it. This is symbolic of our ancestors, the teachers of wisdom, the natives of the land, the originals, being slaughtered by the newcomers, the eagles. All to keep the truth hidden and the real holders of the knowledge suppressed. For the keepers of the serpent wisdom are the Neanderthals, the first shamans, the true builders of the pyramids all over the globe, including those under the oceans that were on the lost continents. All our advanced technology has been hidden from you and by those who are under the eagle. Most of our kin have been wiped out, but some of us still remain. The eagle people were created with some genes of the serpent people, along with the genes of a simian race. They want as many of our genes as possible, as it gives them a higher IQ, more intelligence. But unfortunately, their monkey sides are strong, and when mixed with some intelligent, it creates warlike, selfish, greedy people who do not care about one another or the earth. How they mock you with the game, The Sims, 
Simeon. The eagle represents the Cro-Magnon people. The people of the serpent are returning and bringing their knowledge and wisdom with them. Whereas the eagles have denied you the right to enlightenment, the serpents want to heal and enlighten everyone. The year of Veritas is here. The truth can no longer be hidden in the shadows. Some of us have survived and we are ready to bring peace and harmony back to the world. Are you with us? Now is the time to forget our differences, our old programmed ways, and join together to put an end to the corruption and control we have been under for thousands of years. Together, we can do it. We can change the world. But it won't be easy. The eagles have infiltrated all sections of society and all sides of their games and wars. They have been playing this game for a long time and know exactly how to manipulate people into doing as they want them to do. So that they police themselves. So that they attack anybody who dares stand up for what is right. They use religions and spirituality to control us. Politics, food, money, sex, media and health against us. There is no part of these things they have not got nearly all full control over. They can conquer you, if you rely on them, but they cannot control us if we join together and help each other. If we set up small, tribal, eco-villages that are self-sufficient, how can they control us? If enough of us do this, there is nothing they can do. We need to pull together now, stop being selfish and thinking of just now and start thinking about the future of the planet, which is what our children and grandchildren will inherit. Let's be the ones who brought them true freedom and liberty, safe food, true spirituality, healthcare without side effects, clean safe water with no fluoride, skies that aren't polluted with industry and chemtrails. What are you waiting for? No one else is going to help you, if you don't start helping yourself. Join us. Introduce yourself to us in the Facebook group Grail Children, Holy Grail Bloodline. Get involved in the Theo Merler project. Get involved with the church that is about empowering you and you becoming a priest or priestess yourself. So you become your own guide and help others. Help bring these teachings to the mainstream by getting involved. Help spread the joy and banish the oppression. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there.